Okay guys, so the response and buzz for the movie, incredible. I mean, how does it feel to have so many people back this movie and just absolutely adore and love it? We love being adored. <laughs> so that's basically why I did the movie. Uh, yeah, I mean, me too. <laughs> it's not surprising that people love the movie. We're in it, so, I mean, you're welcome, world. Um, yeah, we're happy about it, what she's meaning to say. Okay, so your character. Except I'm, I don't mean it to sound <laughs> humble or modest the way that Brittany said it. I mean it to sound like really cocky. But your characters are so amazing. I mean, they're so unique, they're so funny, yet they still kind of fill that collegiate ecosystem type of stereotype. You know what I mean? So, can you tell me a little bit about your characters and what makes them so unique? Um, I mean, there are, uh, you know, it, Kay Cannon, our writer, does this beautiful thing of kind of setting up the stereotypes like the weird girl and the popular girl and the uptight girl and the, you know, um, the various social outcasts and like the slutty girl. Um, but then like she kind of turns them on their heads a little bit, which is fun. You know, I remember reading it and thinking like, oh, okay, I understand how this is going to work. I understand who this person's going to be. And, um, you know, she always kind of found a way to really surprise me. Like just when I thought, oh, maybe this is going to, be like a pretty typical version of this it was like she took it in this completely different direction and really um, you know just outsmarted you as a as a reader and now as a, as a viewer I guess so what makes your character so unique um, I mean the thing that I like about her is that it it's that she's supposed to be like this kind of badass chick and she's just not you know she's kind of a softy and she um, you know, is pretty corny and, you know, over the course of the movie really gets in touch with, like, um, her cheesy side. Like, she knows Miley Cyrus songs. It's, you know, she's not a hard ass. What about your character, Brittany? Um, I think that what I really liked about Chloe and, ac and actually creating Chloe, because I wanted her to be kind of that quirky girl that you know, um, that one girl that doesn't really have boundaries, doesn't really get social cues, and doesn't really um, abide by them either. And she's very positive, and and I think that her positivity comes off as just being really weird. And people, you know, you know those girls that are just like, oh, I'm so excited about everything. And I think that that adds to like the oddball nature of her, which is why she connects to Becca because she kind of sees that. They, they both have like a little bit of, um, of quirkiness and oddball things about them. And so she just likes to connect to people very fast, which I like about that. Speaking of oddballness with no boundaries, that shower scene <laughs> was pretty phenomenal. And it was so natural. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about that scene? Um, the shower scene was a really fun day. It started out not so fun. It started pretty awkward. Um, and obviously, Brittany and I, you know, We'd gotten to know each other a little bit, but we um, had never seen each other naked. So, um, you know, it was actually pretty uncomfortable to start that day. And then by the end of the day, like, it was hot in there, it was humid. There were like a million people standing around. And like by the time that um, we'd been doing it for a couple hours, like they would hand us our robes and we were like, just forget it, it's hot. We've seen everything, <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Just, yeah. we're, we got real close. We're bonding, it's fine. Mm. All right, one last question about the rivalry. It wasn't just on screen, I hear. You guys were kind of like, you know, separated, and you guys had to watch the boys perform and have to kind of match Okay, them. let's just be clear, though. The boys could kick our butts in but real life. But they were professional. I yeah, mean, like most of, of the them. boys, you know, came from the acapella world, and we were just trying to catch up. So they could school us any day of the week. But it was... It was uh, kind of hard to watch when the boys would go up to do their performance for the producers and execs, and then we had to. Well, because at right the beginning we're not supposed to be that good. Yeah, and they would just be like, you know, blowing us away. And I think that kind of rivalry, even though we we loved them as people and they were, you know, our close friends, we kind of got that thing where we're like, we guys, we gotta get it together. We have to like pl prove that we're really good. It actually pushed us. A I think it pushed bit. us to make the you know the turnaround even better because it was like we're not good for the first half of the movie. So we, so we really had to bring it eventually. So it was really life imitating art at that point. Yes. Yes, it was definitely <laughs> competitive. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, Thank ladies. You. Nice to meet you.